about two years ago, I just noticed some unusual weight gain in my face and my neck. My name is Nelson Oyashiko. I am Professor of Neurosurgery and Medicine and co-director of the Pituitary Center at Emory University. Three months later, there were more things happening, muscle aches and joint stiffness. These disorders can masquerade as a variety of disorders. So I tried going to another doctor. He determined that I had Cushing's disease and had this tumor on my pituitary gland. So he referred me to Emory. I am Adriana Iacimescu. I am a neuroendocrinologist and co-director of the Emory Pituitary Center. Tumors often cause hormonal problems. I have the right tools to evaluate them. I have the testing available. We have a radiology unit with neuroradiologists. We have a radiation oncologist. We have a neuroophthalmologist. We have a nurse practitioner. They seem so genuinely concerned. How are you today? Are you feeling better? You're looking better. Traditionally, there have been two ways of operating on these tumors using two different instruments. One called a 2D, two-dimensional endoscope, and the other called an operating microscope, which has 3D vision. And the reason why three-dimensional vision is very important is that it tells you where you are in space. That could be critical in an area where you're surrounded by blood vessels, nerves, and the last thing you want to do is to stumble into an artery because you just didn't know it was that close. The 3D endoscope takes from the 2D endoscope and it takes from the microscope and marries the best features of both in one instrument. Emory is one of the very few institutions, not just in the country but worldwide, that have actually deployed this tool and have actually used it in operations. I thought there would be a lot of pain afterwards, but there wasn't. I was amazed, actually. No headache at all. Our pituitary center is dedicated only and for patients with pituitary tumors and pituitary conditions. Having that multi-dimensional approach is absolutely critical for patients with these conditions that are rare conditions and are best managed in, in, in a center that's dedicated to their care and their condition and people who understand what's going on with them.